Good day YouTube, I hope you're all having a great day. Any plans for the weekend? It's looking nice weather on this Saturday morning. Welcome to the fifth episode of FM22 Challenges. In this series we look to save Norwich City from relegation with only 10 games left. If you haven't watched any of the episodes yet, go check out episode 1 above. Right, now that you've all caught up, in today's episode we play another two games, both at home, first against Aston Villa and then against Wolves. Both are now must win games. We are behind Leeds by 6 points and only 4 games left. We need as much luck as possible so help us out by giving a like to the video. And I think I finally found a formation that I really like in this football manager. You will see this later on in the video so keep watching. If you are new to my channel and wish to watch more videos like this one and further content on football manager then I would highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future videos. Right, let's get FM in. Oh, 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 oh. Knocking everything over. Wait, start again. Oh, right, it's a big one. I mean, Aston Villa are a good team, right? At 8th versus 19th, we're at home. Can we pull something out here? We need to. All we have to do is win one and they lose one and then it's literally one game in it. If we can go against Leeds and bring something home, well, nick a win. It's going to be interesting. Let's go. Let's go. So Villa. We are the world. We are the champions. Right. Team selection. Two home games. Can we get any points? Guess it's not a question of can. We have to. If we don't, it's over. I think after my first loss, I said it was over. And here we are, four games left of the season, still within it. Six points to do this. Tozolis has not been playing well, has he? Rain Fries is not back yet. Sheikah's fitness. Fraser, they just not back. Played Byron. Gilmore's playing shocking. All supporting players. Now, do we want to change that round? Aaron's is playing quite well in that support with attacking up top. Williams, he's all right, he's all right. Okay, and Byron, Byron is attacking. I might do this the other way around, you know. Should we try that? Yeah, so he's coming back here. He's coming here. That's it. That will do. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit nervous now. No, I said in the last episode that I wasn't nervous. I am feeling it now because it's four games left. Six points in it. No tactical changes. We're not making any tweaks now. We're making game tweaks. Yeah, Aston Villa have lost three of their last five games, league games. Expects us to pile on for misery. Our form's better, they're 18th, we're 14th on the form table. So yeah, come on, let's go. Let's be positive about this. I might actually play positive, but we're balanced at the moment. We'll see how we go. Come on, guys. Give me a like for luck. Battle Chestnut. Wonder if it works. How many likes can we get? Norman. Tosolis. Ah, oh, Sergeant. Yes. Yes. Good start. It's a tight game. We're not, we have not got possession, but we're not playing that. We're trying to win the ball and attack. Half time. We're halfway there. XG, pretty much just above them, but very tight. Very tight game. Okay, I think we will continue and see what it brings. Gilmore to Williams. Sergeant. Les Mello. Oh, great save, Martinez. Corner. Can we get anything from corner? Or can I make a sub? Team's playing all right. Who's playing bad? Gilmore. Just can't get good out of Gilmore anymore. I think it's going to be Kieran Dow. Kenny McLean, maybe. Actually, Kenny McLean in for Gilmore. Sam Byron's not having it for greatest game. So what I'm going to do is actually put Sergeant on for wing. Then take Byron off and put Puki up top. And let's see what that change does. All right, seven, six minute. We've got the ball. Hanley is on a yellow. Got to remember that? Oh, that was an awful ball forward. Giving it to Villa. House. Sanson. Found Leon Bailey. And Bailey's put it away. Hanley. What a crap ball. That was your fault as well. He's on a yellow card. That was awful. Let's uh, give a shout out. Uh, turn and focus. Come on, guys. And I'm going to... We need to go for it a little bit. And literally, for any change I'm going to do is go a little bit more positive. And Solace is coming off for plus shutter. Ten minutes. Can we nick a win? Or are we just going to settle for a point? Or is Villa going to get a last minute goal? I just realised my screen and Villa's just scored. It, 
I don't think it's remembered my sideline. Camera height, yeah, I'm quite high up. Why is it cutting off down here? Couldn't see the corner taker. Okay, fair enough. Right, well, I've zoomed out. It's a little bit annoying. And we've just now lost all bloody points. Didn't get a reaction from me. I was too concerned on the bloody camera. Oh, crap. Got to go for it. Is that not loading? There we go. Great tackle, Henley. Out to Pookie. Never criticise him. Can he do something? Two plus shutter. Over to Sergeant. Ah, oh, I thought that was great save. Great save by Martinez. Come on. Out to Henley. Henley has a crack. Oh, good save again by Martinez. Just too late, guys. Too late. And nothing. All over. When I first saw this game, I thought, we're not going to win this. Or we could get a draw. But when you're winning 1-0 up until the 78th minute, two minutes before full time, your three points or your point is gone. Yeah, absolutely robbed. Right, as you will see on the screen by me, Leeds won. 2-1 one in Southampton. Away. That means it's... I would say it's over. My first thought was, oh, it's over. The series is over. But my plan was to do two games this episode. I guess we need to see where we are in the next game because it's, it's down to goal difference now. We would have to win all three games and Leeds to lose all three games. But let's go and play the next game and just see what happens. I think I'm just going to... I'm going to experiment. I am really am. Um, we're at home. This could really go wrong. So it's... Time to change my tactics again. You know what? Wait, it's time to experiment. I've been thinking about this formation for a while and I want to try out my other games. You know what? I've watched about five, six tactic videos of other YouTubers, kind of taking my favorite ones from them and kind of going to implement it with a twist of my magic, I guess. Um, so this is a mixture. And that's I, I think that's the way today because end of the day, they're, they're the ones who are probably experimenting. We're not the greatest tactician, as you can see, I tweak a lot. But I like experimenting, but maybe I experiment too much. So what we got, so I'm going for a 4 2 three, one Very trusted set layout. But normally, I would normally play that. But I saw someone playing there. I had him as a DLP, but I kind of feel like with this team, we don't need playmakers. We want, what I want for my midfield is he's running up and down the field. He's winning the ball and spreading that where he needs to so he's uh, if once he wins the ball he's gonna play it short anyway i thought i'd try this different enganche maybe this is where we need to play him Bill, billy gilmore sitting behind our striker and basically just sitting there as a just outside the box get the ball to gilmore try and find those pockets of play in and around for defense We've still got obviously for winger fullback ratio I like that and then obviously fullback inside forward to attack and support attack and support there Right, so let's look into the details of the tactics. I haven't changed that much to what we had before. I took off passing into space. Don't think that was really working. I mean, look at Henley. Henley's pass up for NA. He just lobbed it forward. Was he in space, was it? And then they countered us and got a goal. Work into box. I had nothing gone here before. Maybe on short and slight. I can't remember. In transition, we still got counter press. Counter, so we still got that gen gen. Uh, we was distributing centre backs, and I saw someone actually say distribute to full backs. So I was like, ah, fair enough, give it a go, see what it does. Uh, I haven't seen that before. So I thought, ah, oh, maybe if someone's having success with that, let's give it a go. And also, we were taking short kicks, and they had it as throw it long. So I guess, yeah, instead of it kind of makes sense that you, know, you go throw it long to our fullbacks rather than kicking it short to centre backs. And then on here, we're going to play standard defence line and higher lane uh, line of engagement. I can't remember what I had before. So talk to a team about chances of survival. Well, mathematically, yes, it's possible, but I think it's over. I think it really do. But hey, oh, just having some sneezing fits. It's OK. I'm going to go. This is a big match. I'm excited to see what this formation does. Could be absolutely awful when we lose 5 0. Come on, boys. Come on, last chance. We win, then we play Leeds. And that'd be another video. Got lucky there. Hanley, Gibson. I thought I said play it out to fullbacks. Jesus, playing it risky there. They really was pushing us, weren't they? Uh, Byron, Aaron's Byron, Gilmore, Les Melo, Sergeant's Fantasolis. Can he find it? He's been off for me. Finds it. Good goal. Well done. Ah, playing quite good attacking football. Gilmore. 
Oh, what was that good one? I think he was going for a shot, shot pass, maybe. I don't know. Nice football, Les Mellers, Norman. Wow, look at this. Gilmore and Sergeant. Oh, unlucky. It's like watching a different team. So many highlights. I need to check my highlight reels out. I just can't believe what I'm seeing. Key highlights. Half time and we're 1 0. Okay, that was. That was an interesting first half. Complete different team. Yeah, I want to see more of that. Also, the ball didn't clear their lines properly to Solis. Oh, Byron just couldn't get it. Aaron's it's just going in our favour at the moment for ball. Byron Sergeant, 2 0. Get in. Watford's winning against Brighton. Just seen that. Where's the ball? What's happening? Oh, they got a man sent off. Ruben Neves. The talisman. Grant Henley, a yellow card again. I might have to take him off, you know. Jacob Sorensen. There's Melly from Norman. Just wrap in that position. 22 shots, 10 on target against their 7 and 2. And if we can play like that every game. Against Wolves. Wolves, good team. Well done, boys. Well done. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you would like to watch more videos like this, please subscribe. And to be notified, click on the bell.